I suppose we're all used to seeing grand stately homes and perfectly preserved properties, but did you know there were hundreds of historic houses here in Yorkshire that disappeared forever because they were too expensive to run? Some burned to the ground, whilst others were demolished. Well, now for the first time, an exhibition exploring the history of these so-called lost houses has opened at Halifax's Bankfield Museum, as Spencer Stokes reports. This was one of Halifax's most opulent homes. Manor Heath was built by the mill-owning Crossley family in 1852, but just over a century later, it had gone forever, blown up by the Halifax Corporation in 1958. It's one of ten lost houses recreated as works of art by Hebden Bridges' Kate Lysett. People have forgotten them, but they've only just forgotten them, and there are one or two people that that remember them, or they'll have had um, an aunt or a mum that was in service there and, um, and asking questions, but all sorts of fascinating stories. Some of the lost homes in the exhibition are 500 years old, but the bulk are Victorian creations, so-called brass castles, built by wealthy industrialists. But the wealth came and went, and by the 1930s, it was getting increasingly difficult to staff grand homes. Nobody could afford to heat them. They were often built in inappropriate places. Castle Car was built in the middle of nowhere on the moors. It was midgy, it was cold, it was difficult to get to. Nobody liked it. Once it was built, nobody liked it. I think that there's more of an interest in this now, possibly because of things like Downton Abbey and the, the fascination with the high life, um, genteel living. That lifestyle is reflected here, showing staff and employees at New Crag Hall near Mytham Royd in 1907. Incredibly, this house stood for less than 20 years, and all that's left are two turrets, abandoned relics in a private garden. For Kate, this was a huge discovery and a source of inspiration. It was magical, it's like a kiddie in a sweet shop. It was wonderful, and I sat here in the bright sun, and I, and I sat and I drew out all the designs, and I've incorporated all the patterns in the paintings. Today, New Crag Hall can be seen again. Watercolours and gold leaf, representing what it might have looked like had it survived. Just one example of a forgotten element of Yorkshire's industrial heritage. Spencer Stokes, BBC Look North, Halifax. We've been talking about this event already, haven't we? Because we're looking Exciting. forward to...